Give me something I can pay for. No angel, but you got a halo. When it's nice, like this. I'm back, and guess what? You ready for this? I got into temple. I got into temple. I got into temple. I went to temple in May for my master's. Um, master's in social work. So I'm really excited about that. And I have been super busy. And when I'm not busy, I'm sleeping. So I haven't been posting. But I am about to post some videos because it's a Sunday. And I'm in the house. And I have nothing to do. So here I am. Um, I painted my room. If you guys can't see. Gotta move my lamp a little bit. Um, my room is a completely different color. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to do a short, like, four minute video of a topic, um, a bunch of topics that people have picked and wanted me to talk about. So, I'm going to start now. My first topic I'm gonna talk about is co parenting. And no, I am not a mother, um, I am not a co parent in any way, shape, or form. So this is just me talking on what I feel about co-parenting. Um, this topic was given to me by my cousin, so shout out to Haley for giving me this topic. Co-parenting, I'm all for co-parenting. If y'all can work it out in a relationship, or whatever the case may have been, maybe a relationship was never the plan to begin with, um, then definitely y'all need to co-parent and y'all need to be successful at it. And the number one key to being successful at co-parenting is communication. If y'all can't communicate, it's going to be terrible. Like, it's going to be so much drama, so much just back and forth, like, not knowing what's going on. Um, you just have to talk. Talk to each other and let each other know what is going on with, each, like, with the child, with the baby. That's what you guys are solely, you know, speaking for. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. The reason why co-parenting um, and communication is so important is because y'all are going to disagree about how one is raising the child um you know disagreeing about discipline disagreeing about you know who the kid can and cannot be around um that's gonna come up all the time so if you guys just hold that in and don't you know express what is going on and don't express like how you feel about what one is doing with that child um the the co-parenting is gonna be terrible like y'all gonna be terrible and the baby is going to see it. The baby, the child, the teenager, whoever it is, like, they're going to notice that obviously some dysfunction going on in between. Again, I'm not a parent. So this is coming from me viewing the situation as an outsider. But the people that I know that are co-parents or me working as a social worker in foster care, like, seeing the situations of, you know, how when the parents are not together, if that communication is not being made the children feel it the children feel that the parents are against each other or they're fighting with each other or they're not agreeing on one thing um and then they don't talk about you know how we can compromise to make the situation fit both of our needs um the ch the child feels that definitely honestly i think one of the main struggles of co-parenting is if one or both of the parents are not ready to just simply be solely about the child and there's still feelings involved um, and then you have to deal with the new spouse, um, you know, maybe that other parent doesn't want that new person around your child or that new person is um, trying to discipline your child and you're not for it and you got to talk to that parent like, yo, I don't want that person to discipline my child. And then it just becomes rocky because then it comes into the situation like, okay, well, when is that person going to be able to discipline the child? I don't mean be, but like, when is that person going to be able to say like, you go on time out, like you do that, you know? So I think there's, there's definitely like some struggles when you co-parent but i feel like if you have two strong parents that are so like solely want what's best for your child you guys can learn how to make it work you know there goes my five minutes of me talking about co-parenting and again before anybody starts coming on this video like you're not a parent so how do you know i'm not um i'm just an outsider looking in and i see what possibly could work best and what is the struggles of being a co-parent um but me personally, I would love to be, you know, with the, the person that I have a child by. But if it does not happen, I hope and pray that we can be bomb co-parents. Um, so that's it for today. Well, that's it for this video because I'm about to make another one. Um, but drop some comments of what you guys want me to talk about. Share, subscribe, and you know, tune in next time.